Did you know that India is the third largest manufacturer of medicines by volume? The giant, which is the Indian pharmaceutical industry, exports to over 200 countries, including 50% of all medicines in Africa, 40% of demand in the United States, and 25% of all medicines in the UK. But is Indian pharma rising at China's expense? Are global pharma manufacturers dumping China for India? And known as the world's pharmacy, can India leave China behind in the new drugs race? From the current $50 billion valuation, Indian pharma will rise to $130 billion by 2030, driving Indian economic growth. That's bigger than the entire GDP of countries like Sri Lanka, Oman or Ethiopia. The rise of India's pharma industry is coming at the expense of China. The COVID virus that rose in China was an alarming situation. The world moved quickly to dealing from Chinese supply chains as it broke under pressure. Here, the Indian farmer really stepped up. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, New Delhi supplied over 201 million vaccine doses to nearly 100 countries worldwide. Today, India meets 60% of the global vaccine demand and 70% of WHO's vaccine needs. Global companies are veering away from Chinese contractors, turning to India for clinical trials and manufacturing. I'm not going to start putting my product into China, said Tommy Erdi, global co-head of healthcare investment banking at Jefferies. His sentiment was echoed by Dr. Ashish Nimgaonkar, the founder of Glycen Therapeutics, who claims China is now a less attractive market. Supply chain disruptions and geopolitical tensions of the US-China trade war have amplified the urgency in Western governments to dealing from China and move towards the other Asian superpower, India. India is now a provider of 20% or nearly a fifth of generic medicines globally. India has also some of the lowest manufacturing costs. Roughly, one in three pills in the US and one in four in the UK hail from India. Indian drug companies too are now looking at local markets for API or active pharmaceutical ingredients to end their reliance on China. Bilateral ties between India and China have nosedived after a deadly border clash in 2020, affecting all sectors of bilateral trade, including the pharma industry. Indian drug companies today, like Kadila Healthcare, Sipla, Sun Pharmaceutical and Biocon, are aggressively reducing dependence on China for raw materials, fortifying India's self-sufficiency. If you like this news report, then subscribe to our channel or hit the like button so that it can reach more viewers.